So humans are the only species on Earth that really produce waste. I think it was Michael Browngard that said, consider the cherry tree. A cherry tree doesn't think about the fruit of its labor, its leaves, its blossoms as waste. It knows that when it discards those, uh, those products, they fall to the ground and they become nutrients, both for the tree and for the environment in which the tree grows. So why can't we think more like that? Why can't we be more like that? You know, today the world faces three huge problems. One is that we dig up fossil fuels, we burn them to, to, to produce the, the goods and services we need. They are, that releases CO2, and that CO2 is damaging our environment, damaging our health, damaging our economies. The other great crisis is that while we know we need to replace fossil fuels with low carbon equivalents, our only ability today is to convert our food into those food and uh, those, those fuel and chemical products. And the, finally, we know that our population is growing and our demand for energy is growing. So our use of food to, to produce low carbon fuels and chemicals is completely unsustainable. So what we've developed at Lanzatech is the ability to convert a broader spectrum of resources into fuels and chemicals. The ability to use waste products from today's industries, waste that are available at huge volumes in single locations like these that can be used as the feedstocks to produce fuels and chemicals that have a reduced carbon emission. We haven't taken a traditional route. We developed a technology in a tiny lab in, in New Zealand and we thought globally, immediately globally. And we've come here to China where we've scaled up our plant at a steel mill in China and we are the first to convert industrial waste gases into fuels that can reduce uh, um, our emissions of CO2 but also allow food resources to be left alone to feed our growing populations.